The step in 125% energy strategy, it's actually pretty simple, but some people are still confused on where this extra magical 25% energy is coming from, or just what's the point of doing this 125% strategy altogether. So in today's video, we're going to keep things very short and simple. I'm going to explain to you exactly where this extra 25% energy is coming from. I'm going to show you how to get that extra 25% energy. I'll break down what is the point of actually doing this 125% energy strategy. And then we're going to show you some data, of course, like we always do in all of our guides and analysis so that you guys can see exactly how you can benefit from doing this 125% strategy. So let's go ahead and dive right in. What's going on guys? I'm Jay and welcome to Bitcoin Daily. I am an avid gamer and I have always enjoyed being out, being active, playing sports and competing. So you can see why it was so easy for me to really get into Steppin. Other than Steppin, my day job is basically creating content and day trading. So due to my trading background, I'm really big on doing analysis, looking for different possibilities and running the numbers on everything that I do. And that's basically what I've done as I put these strategy guides together for you guys using Steppin. So if you're new to the channel or you're new to Steppin, make sure to check out all the videos and strategy guides that I have put together so far. You can simply go over to my YouTube channel, hit playlist, scroll over to Steppin guide and hit view full playlist. And I've basically covered everything in here from A to Z in Steppin that you guys can take the time and check out for yourselves. So let's get right into it, guys. The main question, the main reason you're watching this what is the 125% energy strategy and where does this extra 25% energy come from? Now, I have seen some other content that, that's covering this, but a lot of them don't make it very clear and people at the end of the video are still confused, unsure of where this magical extra 25% energy is coming from. And also, what is the reason behind actually doing this? And why would you need to do this, right? So to clear things up and make things as clear as possible, there is no extra 25% energy, right? What you're doing is you're basically taking 25% energy from tomorrow's session. So here's an example. It is currently 12:16 p.m. My next energy replenish happens at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. My current routine is after that 3 p.m. replenish period, that's when I usually go on for my walk or my job. So I use up all my energy and then it begins to refill again at 9 p.m. So at 9 p.m., my energy starts from zero. At After 9 p.m., it goes up 25%, right? Then every six hours after that, it goes up 25% until again at 3 p.m., my energy is full to 100%. So I can use it all again if I choose to at that time, right? So the way that you get that extra 25% energy is this. Since my next replenish time is at 9 p.m., what I would do just before 9 p.m., I start my run and I make sure that before nine o'clock comes around, and replenishes my energy by 25% again, I have to make sure that I use more than 25% by then, right? So let's say I start running at 8.30, I usually have 50 minutes per day, so by nine o'clock I've used 30 minutes, and now it's gonna add an extra 12 and a half minutes to my run. To my session so as long as i continue to run i will use not only the hundred percent from the previous 24 hours when it replenished completely by 3 p.m right i waited till 8 30 to purposely then start running at that time so that then i can get the 25 percent energy boost from the nine o'clock because i want it all in the same session so the idea is to have the full 125 percent energy in one run. So the important part here is that you need to make sure it's all in one session. It all has to be within the same session. If you're chopping up your runs throughout the day, it's not all going to be in the same session. So you can still get 125% energy throughout the entire day overall, but you're not gonna have the 125% in one session strategy, which I'll explain to you now why you would wanna do it in that manner. So now you understand that the extra 25% is not some magical extra energy. It's not a bug in the game. All it is, you're using 25% from the next day's run. And you also know that in most cases, 
you need to do this all in one session. So you want to do the whole 125% energy strategy in one nonstop session, basically. You can pause for small amounts of time as long as it's not over like 25 minutes at a time, that's fine. But you need to make sure that it's all within the same session and that you use up 25% minimum of your energy prior to that next replenish. If not, you're going to miss out on energy. So now let's talk about what is the point of doing the 125% energy strategy if you're not gaining any extra energy. So there could be a number of different things, right? Maybe the next day you don't have as much time to run and you want to knock some of it out on that same day. So that's definitely one scenario. I know I've done that before. And in that case, you don't need to do the full 125% energy in one session. You can split it up throughout the day and it doesn't really matter, it's not a big deal. Because with that, you're just trying to get that extra time from the next day, today, so at the next day, you only have to do 75% of the time that you usually do. Another reason you might do it, and again, this is just another small reason, it's not the main thing, I'll get to the main thing next. If there's one of these events where there's like double earnings or triple earnings, which might be expiring soon, then you wanna make sure to maximize your energy for that day by including that extra 25% energy into today's run. Same thing with like when they were doing the twin minting event, if you needed more GST to get those twins mints happening, then it was a good strategy to use an extra 25% today from tomorrow to try to get something before it expired, right? Now, the final and most important reason, and it, this is pretty much the main reason why anybody does this strategy, is for mystery boxes. In order to get mystery boxes dropped as you're running depends on two different factors. So the first one is obviously on your luck attribute. So the higher your luck, then the more likely you are to get a mystery box during your run. And then the second part of that equation is the amount of energy that you're using in your session. All right, so maybe now it's starting to click for you. More energy, more likely to get mystery boxes. And let's not take my word for for it. Let's actually look at community data to prove that even if you have a low luck attribute, you can still get mystery boxes if you're using a lot of energy. So I am getting this community data straight from Crit. His Twitter is Crit underscore Steppen. He has been collecting community data and putting it into a beautiful spreadsheet so that we can see exactly what it is that is going on within the community and trying to figure out how is the best way, most efficient way to play the game. You guys should give him a follow and then go to this tiny URL Steppen Stats website. Here you're able to see the beautiful charts that he's put together and you can input all of your daily runs which of course helps get all this data together so what we're going to be looking at here on this spreadsheet is the luck tab however before I show you all of this make sure to take one second to smash that subscribe button smash the like button on this video if you love making money with step in or projects like step in if you enjoy these guides if you enjoy trading or just want to stay overall up to date with the current crypto trends I upload a video almost every single day about these topics so please smash that subscribe button so that you never miss another opportunity to make money in crypto again in addition to that I try to answer every single DM that I get on Instagram and I also try to answer all the comments that I get on the YouTube channel so leave a comment below if you have any questions regarding anything in this video also don't forget to follow me on Twitter where we're giving out activation codes almost daily last week we gave away 13 activation codes so make sure to follow us on Twitter all right so let's take a look here at this um, spreadsheet here put together by the community and by crit so the bottom side of this is going to be the luck attributes and then the vertical side of it is going to be the energy per run so when you first start out in step in you start with two energy if you only have one sneaker right so at two energy you can see that there's really no shot at getting a mystery box there's one random one here it looked like it was over right over that two energy mark but there's basically nothing else at or below this line right and it's basically the same way until you get to five energy now if we look at five energy you can see look at how many people are getting both common level one mystery boxes and even some uncommon mystery boxes here 
as they use five energy. And if you go even one down at four energy, you can still see that some people are grabbing uh, some mystery boxes here. Obviously, the higher the luck, the more likely they are to get something. But the majority of the community, as you can see, is within that 10 to 20 luck range. And look at how many boxes that they're getting there, how many drops they're getting there at five energy. So if you have three sneakers, that puts you at four energy, right? However, if you do the 125% energy strategy, that is going to put you at five energy for your session and that bump up alone is going to throw you right in the mix to get a mystery box dropped during your session. Now, if you have nine common sneakers, that would put you up at around right here, right? Nine energy. So again, depending on your luck, if you're below 10 at nine, you're going to be hitting pretty nicely. So the key number here is that five energy. Five energy is pretty much the threshold it looks like to have the best chance to get Get a mystery box so that's why the 125 percent energy strategy is something that gets talked about so much in the step in discord and throughout the community because they've realized and the numbers even show it here that if you're at four energy or lower it is very very unlikely that you're going to get a mystery box dropped during your session but if you hit that five energy threshold during your session, you are more likely at that point to then get that mystery box dropped. Then as you work your way up higher, let's say when you get to nine sneakers, at that point, you can start hitting more uncommon mystery box drops here. However, if you push for the 125% energy, then you're more likely to get either a uncommon mystery box or something even better. So you can see that there is somebody up here that got a rare level three mystery box by doing the same strategy because he used up 25 energy during his session. And remember the cap is 20 energy. So by using this 125% energy strategy, he was able with only six luck, get a level three rare mystery box drop. Now, if you're running with a sneaker that has higher luck, even if you're getting into the hundreds, you're mostly going to be getting the uncommon boxes, right? However, by doing the 125% strategy, you can potentially get rare and epic mystery box drops. And of course, the more energy you're using, the more likely you are to get Get something including this user right here it looks like he was just below 200 luck but he did the 125 percent energy strategy and was able to get a legendary mystery box last thing i want to mention and i don't want to speculate too much but remember we have an update coming this month where they're implementing the scrolls system and the scrolls are basically going to be used for minting we don't know exactly how that system is going to work yet but from the sounds of it it looks like they're trying to incentivize people to make sure that they're out there and using their energy every single day and rewarding them with these scrolls, which you can then use to mint new sneakers, or it sounds like you might be able to put it out in the marketplace and sell it for GMT. So that would be a way to earn some GMT during your runs, as well as if you wanna mint new sneakers, you'll have to be out there doing these runs to get these scrolls. If that system is set up anything like the mystery box system, then that means that you'll be incentivized to use more energy, i.e. do the 125% energy strategy in order to ensure that you're getting scrolls during every run and try to get higher level scrolls as they did say that scrolls would have a level system to them. So I'll probably do a whole other video on this speculating on it, but that's just something that I wanted to add on to the end here because the 125% energy strategy might go right hand in hand with the scroll system. So to summarize, everything that we covered guys there is no extra magical 25 percent energy that you're getting from nowhere right you're basically borrowing tomorrow's energy to include it into today's session the reasons to do this is if you don't have time tomorrow to run you might want to try to include it into today's session if there's any type of uh, reward events or minting events you might want to try to get earned more during today's session if it's expiring soon and the main thing is of course for the mystery boxes the more energy you use the more likely you are to get mystery boxes and higher level mystery boxes. And if they implement the scroll system where it's similar to mystery boxes, then the scrolls would be something else that you're gaining by using.
using more energy during your sessions. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget, May 25th, we have the live step-in event. It is officially the first step-in meetup event in the United States. I am very proud to be organizing and hosting it. Very excited for this. We're gonna be giving away t-shirts, GST. We'll have music, refreshments. And of course, I'll be there so you can ask me any question that you want. Also, don't forget to check out our community podcast. We're doing it every Saturday morning right after the live AMAs. This is being hosted by James Work on his Twitch, twitch.tv slash James Work. It's featuring James, Beth, K-Train, and myself. The idea here is to basically discuss everything that was covered in the AMA, give our initial thoughts on it, and then have some feedback and questions from the community. That's pretty much it, guys. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to smash the like button. If you're new, don't forget that I've created guides on almost everything that has to do with Step In. And as things update and change, I will also be creating more guides, doing more analysis, and trying to always optimize the earning potential of this game. And at the end of the day, we're also getting healthy, getting fit, going outside, doing all this at the same time. So it's a win-win. I appreciate you all. I'll see you on the next one. As always, peace and love.